Oh, welcome back to uh, another PA5X video. We're going to talk about some wet and dry settings again. Now, the other on one of the other videos, we talked about wet and dry settings for reverb. Well, we're going to talk about some other wet and dry settings, um, which work in a slightly different way, but uh, hopefully you will see the similarity. We're going to be talking about using the ensemble feature. Now, <clears throat> I've got my James Last settings in and the first keyboard set is James Last, Strings and Choir. Now, <clears throat> if I want to have a look at the ensemble, this is the, the chording effect for, for the right hand. Um, we can either access that through menu and then go to keyboard ensemble. Or we could have used the shortcut, which is shift and ensemble. Lots of functions have a shortcut to save you going into the menu. So you always use the shift button and then the feature that you want it to take you to. So we're now faced with this screen and I can see that we are using upper one, which is movie strings two, and we've got the duet harmony selected. We've got lyrical choir in number two and we've also got duet um, selected. In number three we've got studio strings and we're not using any harmony on those so they will just play the single note. Now here's our friend wet stroke dry. When you have the wet stroke dry option selected you will hear each, well, let me put it this way. Each voice will play the melody note and its harmony notes, however many that may be. Obviously, in the case of duet, it's only going to be one other note. But if you've got block chord in, it might be the melody note plus three other notes. Um, so wet stroke dry means that each sound, so the movie strings and the lyrical choir, will play both the melody note that you're playing and the harmony note. Let's just have a, a quick listen, just put the synchro start on. Okay, so if I just trigger a chord here in the left hand, We can hear that both the choir and the strings, we can hear the melody note that I'm playing. But if I set the choir to just wet only, that means that the choir will only play the harmony note or notes and not the melody note. Now, just listen. So what you're hearing from the choir is a harmony and not the melody. Let's just put it back where they both play the melody. Now let's put the choir onto wet only. And it's really nice because what it's doing, it's opening the sound up, making it more interesting because the choir isn't singing the melody. They are acting as a backing choir now and singing harmony notes. So let's just recap the movie strings, because they're wet and dry, you're hearing the melody and the harmony. The lyrical choir is wet only, which in terms of our ensemble feature means the harmony notes only. And channel three, the studio strings, that's just playing normal. So that will just sound whatever notes we play. So now let's just, well, let's do, do the same bit and do it twice so you can hear the contrast. And I, what I want you to listen to in particular is the choir part. Um, so this is with both the melody and the harmony being played by both of these sections. Again, just a recap of what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's do the same thing, but this time with the choir, with the choir on wet only, so that will only play harmony notes for us. Listen to the difference. So really, really nice effect. So that is what is meant by wet and wet and dry in the ensemble section. <laughs> 